polls have opened in India's general election with more than 700 million people eligible to vote. Such a big operation that voting spread over four weeks. The results not declared till a month from today. Well, our correspondent Damien Grammaticus reports from rural India's heartland in the state of Chhattisgarh. Damien. In the heart of India today and across a vast swathe of this country, the queues began to form. This election is an incredible feat of democracy. More than 700 million are eligible to cast ballots. So many it'll take four weeks just to finish the voting. And crucial issues face this nation. Poverty, joblessness and just four months after the attacks on Mumbai, security too. Soldiers stand watch over polling stations. The danger here in central Chhattisgarh state is from Maoist guerrillas who control a swathe of jungle and have threatened to slit the throat of anyone who votes. On this first day, the Maoists have already attacked and killed policemen and election officials. It is a complete war. It is a pretty full-blown war which is being waged here. And the focus of the government has come off late, albeit off late, but it has come now. And, uh, but, you know, we are fighting a very formidable enemy here. Poverty is what fuels the conflict. Hari Ram is one of hundreds of millions of Indians surviving on less than $2 a day. His village has no electricity, no running water. India's economic boom hasn't reached here. And Hari Ram is sceptical about what good voting in the election will do. The politicians always come and make promises, he says, but nothing changes. Here in India's villages then, they've had 60 years of democracy, but many are still waiting to see real improvements in their lives. And poverty really is at the heart of this election, mm. uh, this campaign, mm. because it's really the issue of how to draw in these hundreds of millions of people who are yet to benefit from the growth we've had in this country into modern democratic India. That is the challenge that will face the government that's formed once this election is over. Damien Grammaticus, BBC News, in southern Chhattisgarh. An 86-year-old widow who confronted an intruder in her